creepy stories and legends about Route 66. And, uh, of course, I wanted to also mention I was reading up on another thing about Jerome, New Mexico. And if anybody don't know that I'm, I have covered the story of um, Jim Sullivan disappeared. His um, album, 1969, UFO, has a song about Jerome. But um, other than ghost, um, and a flaming car that freaking runs you off the road and stories about uh, tours attracting hang out of caverns, mind you. Which I think that a lot of these underground caverns have a lot to do with underground movement of what's really out there and what's under us of what I keep saying. Hey! Goddamn dog. I have to pause for a moment. Anyways, this Route 66, of course. <clears throat> Runs through Missouri, you know, it goes on to have a headstone that gets cracked by a wife that was improperly buried. Um, old mercher, mer, mortuary, of course, that's a uh, theater that was an old, you know, funeral home. Man dies watching his own execution, you know, crazy stuff. But what has, of course, the goat man. But what really caught my eye in this story, this guy refuses to die. Hell's Gate. But what really caught my attention was the, um, of course, the, uh, Texarkana <clears throat> serial killer that went between the states of Arkansas and Texas. Headless Spanish soldier. Got caught up with some witches. <laughs> Got his head cut off. But right here, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And this really caught my attention. Not only the caverns, but this. In the Monero Boulevard neighborhood, everyone apparently knows the hills in distance are haunted. Taking a walk amongst the foothills at night can learn lead to encounters with strange lights, odd noises, including laughing gunshots. There's also a cave in these hills from which people sometimes claim to see bright light emanating, but when anyone has the courage to check it out, it always vanishes. So between Albuquerque and Jerome, and like I say, Jim Sullivan sings of Jerome, and um, I believe this whole area of New Mexico on Route 66 has a uh, history. Get in the back. Goddamn dog. Of... Huge bag. What if I caught that? Like I say, there's a lot of kooky stuff going around my way, boy. <laughs> Anyways, yep. as I was saying, caverns, caves, hills. Everything that, you know, Jim Sullivan sings about. Man, it's like a fucking ghost town tonight anyways. You know, this fucking coronavirus is really pissing me off. Leading to a lot of things, folks. Leading to my mind of really going to abandonment. 
What the hell that bang was? <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> yeah. That's why I haven't been putting much videos up. I'm trying to get what I can out. But lately, man, there's virus, and while everything's getting shut down, is just insane. I mean, I'm not surprised, but that's why I go into the stories like this and try and keep my cool and my head together. But lo and behold, like I said, whatever's out underneath New Mexico, I believe Jim Sullivan did see something. And that's why he disappeared. Because whatever's out there is bouncing around, driving, it's flying through these caves or whatever. It's about to wonder why a lot of people do come up missing. And don't get me wrong. I mean, there are serial killers, there are kidnappers, sex offenders, whatever the case may be. But other than that, what happens to the other percentage of missing people? And to me, this right here leads to this underground caverns, tunnels, whatever the case may be. In the hills, man, let's see the mountains out in the back. I believe something lives in them too, man. All hollowed out, living underneath. But I think I was reading something also, like, excuse me, said earlier that Jerome, the town Jerome, I, I forgot the article where I put it, but that place has so much haunted stuff. It's insane, but I once again I'm not surprised, and it's about why. But I wonder why Jim Sullivan sang about that town. I think there's a lot more sinister something going on in that town, rather than ghosts. And you know, even though there is a lot of ghost stories that happen in that town, like I say, I think there's more than just that underneath, and he's seen it. Whatever he's seen, I think, was following him that night. Led him to where he was to go and psh, took him. I mean, other than that, I wanted to share that Route 66. It's now Route 40. And I'd love to go on that route. Another to-do list thing. But other than that, I've been losing views like crazy, so... Oh, man, it's just sick. Can't even catch a break from YouTube. I'm, what, probably like 800-something away from, you know, eh, but I don't know. Yeah, about 800 maybe away from getting a 1,000 subscribers or so. No, not 800, probably six. Five to six, yeah, 600. No, I'm still not doing too well. But all in all, I like to make it known, whatever's beneath us. There's something there, and I keep getting these stories. So, huh. Insane, people, insane. Other than that, and now I gotta go listen to this video and see what that bang was. That was freaking loud. <laughs> no, I don't know where the hell it came from. <laughs> Anyways, more to come. I just gotta get the time to do it. Get the kids home and pff, nothing to do. No time. Till the next video, be safe, take care, and always believe that there's something underneath us. And I think one day it's going to expose itself very soon. Very soon. Out.